that humans and others can, you know, e even in case that there is any kind of attack. Uh, but I'm no expert on the warfare, but it seems like it, there, there's more of an outpost. It's There's still a lot of them. I mean, around 100 or maybe 200, all in all. But uh, if, so if there is an attack on this camp, they will be... I think they have squad dedicated only to delivering a message to the uh, main fort, Baliat Sveng. I mean, at this po point, if Asami wants to cast a spell on... Because you can safely assume that the guy who is speaking right now is the leader. Well, at this point, they don't seem to be showing any hostility, so... No, they no, do not. No real need. Alright, just a question. Who sent you? We sent here ourselves. Alright. Thought you wanted to stay neutral in this war, but... Fair enough. We want, simply want to protect our home and hopefully sway the orcs from going into the mountains. We do not wish to attack them head on. It will, it will only result in an unnecessary, unnecessary loss of life. You live in the mountains here. Uh, yes, and where exactly we'd like to keep it a secret. No offense. Fair enough. None taken. So, and uh, by this point I'm kind of uh, gesturing to the others to join us as well. Mm. Okay. Alright, so... Do you oh. perhaps have a map of the encampment? Uh, do you have some sort of paper and something to write. Do I? Do I? I do not. Well, I could write it down on you all, as far we saw this encampment a few times already, so I remember some parts, but I don't have any Does map anyone else? Me. Not me. And yeah, ground beneath you is rather rocky, so even if the guy wanted to draw a map on the ground, it's not really possible right now. I think I have some I paper. Can I use uh, uh, what was it? Can drops to kind of write in the air? Uh, sure, why not? So ask him uh, to describe it to me as I uh, write it with magic uh, in, in the air. Okay, yeah, so... So after a minute or two describing, you have not complete, but most of the picture of the encampment. Where are like two or three watch guard towers, where are the main barricades, where are the potential weak points, and so on. So you have some information. Alright. Good, good. So, I didn't caught your name. Oh god, now do you wanna me think of the name for the yeah. random generated I tango? thought you already have one. Mm. If you have a name, give it to me. Uh, let's just go with Kuro. Good enough. Okay. Kuro it is then. Yeah, name, name, name's Kuro. Kitsuna. Booker, chat, chat, Chuko, Ebon Feather. Oh, I see, this is just a list. Yep. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but Kuro is fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. 
What is your name, Kitsune Fellow, if you ever will uh, on it again? Oh wait, no. Uh, my bad. Name's Genkiro. Genkiro not. Well, I think that's good to know you. Good to... It's good that we've met you, Genkiro. I think we've done everything we wanted here and we shall go now and I wish you uh, safe travels and good hunting probably in this okay. area Hi. so if nobody stops them or asks them anything they slowly start going north oh. through the mountains uh, them and so on yep I forgot to ask them about the encampment to the south as well mm. uh, they were not risking it and they do not pass through the mountains trying to attack the... Uh, not attack, trying to scout the software encampment. Alright. Only one thing, he's, they overheard one time from the... Oh wait, I, I need to check if they even speak this language. No, they do not, so no, nothing. Alright. Well... Well met and good luck. So, so I was away. What were those guys up to? Apparently, they were scouting encampment, trying to get the drop on maybe one or two uh, orc patrols. Okay, sure. And do they know anything that useful? Well, yeah. uh, I show him the uh, map I have of the encampment. Okay, so we can. Guys, I'm gonna have to drop here. Oh uh, dear. Some scheduling conflicts came up. Mm. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I know that sometimes happens, but yeah, sorry that there was no fight at the beginning. But even though oh. you drop out now, I hope that you had fun while it lasted. Uh, we'll we'll try to make it, but honestly, the the Euro time, I really underestimated it. Yeah. Okay. No problem. But I'm yeah, not normally we'll awake talk, right now. Yeah. No problem. We will talk about that in. Like later after this session. Well done. See ya. Yeah, see later. ya. So uh, yes. Um, so we assume he goes back to Fort Tyre. Uh, not really. I have I have his character, so I can act like an NPC. Okay. Okay, so I right. guess, can I assume that you are now proceeding further and you go with your plan? Yep. Say we wait Switch until night. My plan is. Yeah, should we wait until night? Uh, wait then. I well, well, if you wait uh, until night, night it's like... Uh, it's now... You've met this thing somewhere like here. So... Well, you moved before like right at the dawn so now it's i think it's noon something like that so if you want to wait to the night it will be quite a long time it takes us like 20 minutes to get there and besides orcs of dark vision it doesn't help us particularly Ugh, good point yeah. mm. All right. how many of us can see in the dark i That's can I that's a good question. I presume I, can, uh, I presume everyone but me. Mm. I have mm. low light vision in my fox form. I have dark vision to 60 feet, which is my normal vision range. I have dark vision, that's why I have to cast Penumbra on myself every pretty regularly. Huh. To cover myself in shadow most of the time. Mm. Because right. I took an alternate racial feed that gives you dark vision in exchange for light blindness, unless you've got the uh, shadow. Mm. Right. So uh, I guess we should go ahead and. Uh, you proceed with your to... plan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 want. To... By the time we get to like a kilometre to go, we'll yeah, go yeah. off the road. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that you can take a like ops 
observing positions near the encampment without uh, like rolls, like stealth rolls. But if you wanna go inside the encampment or something like that, or something else, we I, I will decide if you want. Was it there someone that we had to kill inside? In the this encampment, no. Like you remember that Robert said that there might be um like if you wanna take out the leaders so that the like the leadership will collapse you the, you need to like Baldiard Svank is the your target for that. Yeah. And I mean, is this? I mean, sure you you might find like in every military organization even if this is orc one you might find some officers and so on but they are. You know, if you kill one, uh, there will be five more candidates for his place. Yeah. Well, we should. We should. We should, we should the same go for the uh, leaders themselves. No, you don't know that. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so you take like positions. You observe the camp. The like description you've got. It's like you know accurate. Uh, what do you do? Is the camp completely blocking the pass? Uh, e yeah, it's built so that the track, the road that it's not you that wasn't used in the years, but you can still see it. It's like going straight through the camp. Hmm. Right. And yeah, of course you can see that there are many, many orcs, like surely it's like 100. Uh, okay, with that kind of role you can like, uh, no, I, I, won't say, I, I, I won't say you can count because they are moving and even with that kind of role it's hard to count like like yeah, bustling but... camp. But you can safely assume that it's something bec between 130 or one and 150 orcs and okay. also you can see like five to uh, five to six hill giants oh no okay. uh, five hill giants mm -hmm. right how steep are the cliff walls next to us uh well you can try to climb it if you want to have a better vantage position yeah. one more horse so we can go over the camp uh, do you think my horse could try, uh, try to like, climb? If you wanna go over the camp, uh, I'm gonna say that you might f you you might wanna try to find uh, like some kind of natural passage through the mountainous area. So if anybody wanna do that, you can make a survival check. I think. If it's not too steep, I could technically make a bridge up the mountain. Oh hey, I actually have rings in that. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna like make a survival rolls to find a, because yeah, sure, it's completely possible that you might find a way around the camp, so you can like flank it from the from behind. Hmm. Yeah. See if I can summon any monsters that can help us go over the mountain. Uh, summon monster two. And is like, would a not very steep bridge be possible up the mountain? Mm. I don't really think so. It's not. It's not a matter of st steepness. It's a matter of like going around the length of it. True. I can summon a giant worker, and he could probably get us over the mountain. Uh, oh, what? Well, think about like what you wanna summon. I'm gonna say that with that rolls, you do not find a like road on the mountain, but uh, it's another thing. You find a cave. Really? Cool. I'll go check out the cave because I have dark vision. And I have low light vision. I follow you. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, uh, what the else 
do. Okay, just because I'm a merciful god and a merciful MG, I'm gonna say that yes, the cave is long and wide enough so that the fucking horse of Otiros can fit in. <laughs> do you think I would have left it behind anyway? <laughs> hmm. If you would have chopped them up and brought them yes. together, that's what <laughs> yeah, I would have rammed the mountain, it would have le if, uh, split apart and I would have gone through completely unnoticed. No, it's mm. on the entrance, it's rather big, like wide and high, like big natural cave. Well, I'm actually going to scout inside of it and I'm going to be stealthing while I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, just before we continue, I'm just wondering, does anybody, one of you, have uh, some kind of spells that can help you, like, in di sensing direction or finding exit in the places uh, like this? I have... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I have detect secret doors. Does that That's help? not exactly it. Mm. Like, I'm speaking about the situation while, like... Because, you know, this cave might go into rather underground and sure, it might go in the way that you might find an exit and go behind the camp, but also you might suspect that there might be other corridors, caverns and so on, so you might get uh, lost or go out in the place where you did want, didn't want to go out. No, we just have to, I just have to, we just have to use uh, survival to know, to Narrow tracks. Uh, I have my fox farm, which can use scent abilities. I could uh, sniff out fresh air. Mhm. Mm that's a very good point. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to hear before we go. Right, so my fox form is probably going to uh, sniff out the... How would I sneak fo forward while carrying you as a fox? Yeah, <laughs> and meanwhile I'll, I'm uh, sniffing uh, for fresh air. And I end up be hit my uh, nose. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna guess that everybody in the party is, like, in the, went into the cave, and, mm. but you two are, like, uh, in, fr in front of them, like, scouting yep. ahead. Yeah, I'm um, just following, leading my horse behind. What was Genkira's role for? Uh, so, uh, scent tracking. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, man, with that kind of role, I'm gonna say, uh, the f okay, the first player to roll D100, roll me a D100. Uh, that would have been Genkira. <laughs> yep. Okay, wait, I need to find, where is At the... least it's not 13. Yeah, it's a bit. We found more okay. tank dudes. <laughs> Thirty-five. Oh, that's a very interesting. But no, not really. Uh, it's oh, it's so interesting. Wait, no, it isn't. <laughs> Do we get to punch something? Uh, if you want, there's a wall okay, right I'm just there. Gonna, okay. <laughs> I'm also holding a fox. Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, okay, so you are stealthing. So I'm gonna roll for. Uh, plus. Oh, and how's, how big is the fox? In my fox form, hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. And because they will be in the way. Um, I don't really say it's weight, but I guess maybe. Uh, what's the one? Out. Yeah, what's the and one no under weight. small? Tiny. Okay, so while you move uh, forward, uh, it's uh, who has dark vision again? Sorry, I forgot. I do. Elm Rodo. Okay, so Elm, because of your dark vision, you can emit like spot a like. Uh, wait, while you like go go inward, the like the corridor in the. Uh, God damn it! I forgot the like specific word for that. 
basically you know there are other uh, possible passageways possible routes passageways and so on so you can pretty much imagine that uh, this com cover uh, this underground complex might be quite big but uh, well the scent of uh, genkiro is like leading you where you should go <clears throat> and yeah from afar from like 60 feet you can see that in one of the corridors that you are now in there are some uh, webs and even more so you think you can see some spiders in those webs and they are not small spiders like Really small or just hand big or how do you uh, big? No, mean? they are they are uh, oh, giant oh, spiders. Dear. I mean, technically they they are named giant, but in our terms they are medium. Okay. Have they noticed us yet? For now, not yet. They are waiting for the prey. You think so? All right. All right. I probably haven't seen them yet because uh, I don't have dark vision. I mean, it's now a question for Elm. I do start Elm. Leaving, though, So, what, what, what do you do? What do you say to the others? Um. Uh, but I. Uh, I start using holding my hand. Mind? And crap! I do not have knowledge of nature or engineering, so I can't. Tell if spiders have a sense of hearing or not. Uh, I have knowledge. Here. That's very interesting. Do you tell it to me, or do you just ignore me, hoping oh. that I'll sleep? Well, like I like if you. Well, I guess you can't see me. So um. I mean, even. Oh wait. I forgot that everyone except for me is pretty much blind. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that role might be pretty important because now I see that they have specific kind of sense. Okay, so even if you don't have ranks, what do you do? What do you say to uh, like Genkiro? Because now you are holding him. I see giant spiders and I whisper that very carefully. Right, I take a sniff and to see if I get, can smell how many they are. With uh, a, well, there sure. seem to be four of them. Yeah, you smell four. Do you want to make a knowledge nature on dungeon or nearing roll? Uh, oh. Yeah, I can do an. Uh, hang on. An engineering roll. Dungeoneering, yeah. Dungeoneering, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go with it. Roll with it. Oh. Huh, is that good enough? <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna say I'm merciful. I'm not gonna say how much range they have, but you know that the spiders have tremor sense. Okay. I don't know if my uh, fox form can talk. I'm also but. not sure if 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 explicitly the rules do not state that you cannot. If there is nothing about talking in uh, fox form, we can assume that yes, you can talk in the fox form. It might sound funny, but you may. <laughs> if you wanna. I mean, I could sell you as a talking pet to some circus. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. Then you run. Then we but run away with all the gold. Mm. What do you do? Because as I said, the game hero. If you wanna talk, wanna talk in Kitsune form, I can allow that because we can set a precedence. Because I'm not sure if this is stated yeah, anywhere in the rules. Yeah, my tiny fox form. Yep, it will sound funny. Yeah. Mm. I don't but laugh, they... but mm. go on. Oh. I, I kind of jump off. Uh, uh, what's his name's? Omrudu. El Marudo's uh, shoulder and they uh, kind of uh, sneak back out the way we came. Yeah. I was thinking about attacking him. Oh dear. 
for you. Well, for your power level, these spiders aren't that. Like, mm. I mean. Yeah, but we can't see shit, so I that mean, might be hard. Ah, yes, because doesn't matter who has what kind of vision and what the rest of the party did or do. Dude, we you seem to forget that I have uh, uh, dancing lights. I can also cast daylight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you wanna cast them, they can do it, but for now, aside from you two, like, the visibility for the rest of the party might be pretty shitty. I mean, unless they have torches, I don't know. I have torches. I you should not light that. the torch. We should okay. not light it. <laughs> Just holding it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I tell the others, there seem to be a legion of spiders. Oh. Bloody great. Mm. I mean, really, out so, of I'm just gonna say this out of character because I'm. <laughs> it's pretty funny for me that you back out from the fight with something that table tells me that the challenge rating for this it's like six or five, <laughs> and you are one gestalt, two fucking level uh, seven. Yes, but so indeed, mm -hmm. the, the way you presented them made them seem much more dangerous. Oh well, I don't know if yeah. that's my mistake or... No, it's not your mistake, mistake, it's just the way you present, present things to make it actually seem interesting. Oh, but uh, we only know that there are four right here. We don't know how... if there are more of them uh, back there. Okay. Exactly. I mean, if you wanna avoid them, I will allow another survival role to like, so that Genkiro might try to find another passage. Uh, so, where I'm gonna go. do something. Okay, I'm oh. listening. I'm gonna walk 10 feet forward. Hope oh. it doesn't start set off their tremor sense. So I'm at a range of 50 feet exactly. And uh, wait, uh, you said that you are you are trying. Okay, in mechanical sense, you are trying to be within 50 feet range from the spiders. Yes. Yes. It sets off the tremor sense. Mm. Oh, Even if I'm well, wait, I'm floating. You are floating. Uh, I didn't hear that. So no, if if you are floating, well, then since I know about the tremor sense, my bad. But I would float in. Not yeah, okay. try to not set I it mean, off. for a moment I thought you did. I didn't hear that, but you know, if you if you do some things like that, just you know, tell me and make sure Sorry, that okay. I heard about them. Yeah, sure. Then if you are floating, you do not touch the ground and you do not set off tremor sense. I'm going to cast murderous command on one of the spiders. Okay, what does it do? For one round, the target attacks the nearest ally with a melee or natural weapon and tries to kill it. Uh, okay, does the target the DC gets... is 15. It's a uh, will save negates. Will save. Okay. Just Why can't a... we use that on the mountain uh. giants? Okay, will plus... Because I've got like 10 of these. No, uh, 7 of them. these. Okay, so after a moment you see that the one spider fiercely attacks his uh, brethren and uh -huh. to not you know hold things for longer time we can say that this started a chain reaction and basically there is small carnage and all these spiders are dead all of them yeah <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's yeah, a, there's poisonous. I mean, it's a really small, unimportant encounter, like in in uh, contrast of what's prepared in the fort. So I don't want to may prolong this. Kill. So it's small rule of call here that okay. one spell can work from in the hands of Gestalt can work miracles like that in this situation. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, well, if you think about it, it while well, it only gets the first spider to attack for six seconds, it gets the other spiders to start attacking as well. Yep, okay. And since they don't know about me, they just all start trying to kill each other. So the uh, spiders are dead. What on earth did you cast? Murderous Intent, if I remember correctly. He casted this. It was Murderous Command. Command, yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's spiders... Uh, never mind. Just It's mind affecting for humanoids. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> humanoids oh. only. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, immune mind affecting effects. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> 
Oh, for goodness sake. Well, spiders are mindless. Okay, so you... <laughs> anyway, but I don't, I don't care. I just got confused because I... I mean, away yeah, yeah, it. okay. That, it's okay that you pointed that out. I mean, I... Let's just say they were intelligent, peaceful spiders and we killed them all. Uh, that'll <laughs> work. Yeah, sure. Th this is the exception because I didn't saw that thing that they are immune yeah. to this. Actually, yeah. it isn't humanoid, but it's mind-affecting. Yeah, so, yeah, and the spider sits explicitly said. And, and anyways, never mind. The danger, danger is uh, dead, gone. You wait uh, for a moment, and uh, you do not see any more spiders. What do you do? I go back to find my other allies because they are written off. Okay. <laughs> okay, you find uh, your allies. No problem. And I tell them that the spiders are dead. Well okay. done. Well done. Okay. well done. Okay, so Very you well so you are proceeding further. Yep. Um, okay. So yeah, Should now I that make another survival now check? that the spiders are gone, you just move through the web, and yeah, you you will be able to make another uh, survival check. Just like oh. for the fluff lore information, that the some passageways that uh, like you like go through. Like you do not go through them, you just pass them, because you know that they are not the way you wanna go. You see, yeah, you see more webs, but you do not do not see spiders. There are some webs here, some there, and uh... you did a roll of one. <laughs> right. So uh, another survival check to check for fresh yep. air. Now I'm gonna say that yeah, it's a good. Uh, Okay, with 22. Yeah, it's rather okay. Roll, you've got... It's because you you get the feeling that it's really a ra rather large undercover, you know, the... Uh, you know, system of caverns, corridors, of course, everything is natural. Because as you, you might see that, yeah, this place, like, didn't see human food for a long, long time. I think you might be the first like uh, people that went go through here in ages. <laughs> really, oh, no, right. no, no, no other human. It's uh, everything you see. It's like natural. No human like or anything like intelligent. You know, oh, wow. didn't work here. Anyways, with good roll like that, you got a firm sense. You know exactly where you need to go. Um, Genkira, you lead your team. Uh, but before you will be able to find your exit, I need to ask you for one last D100 roll. Uh, one D100 roll. Of course. 59. Damn it, you didn't believe in me hard enough. Okay. Now I'm gonna see what this thing is. Oh well. Uh, the road leads up into the middle of the encampment. Nope. That was cool. There are hundreds of orcs staring at you. Okay, so while we are moving forward and scout ahead. I'm guessing you are stealthing. Yep. I mean, yeah, Lysander rolled for stealth. Uh, can I case. can I ask for your stealth, Genkiro? Just really quick. Yes, yeah, stealth roll with my fox form is. Hang on. I mean. Stealth. Ooh, plus ten. Oh, wait, they. What? They don't have fucking. Oh, they have perception. Well. Wow. So stealth. <coughs> So that would be 1d20 plus 24. 36. Uh, yes, yeah, so there is... I'm guessing there is... Oh wait, there might be a way because I'm guessing... Okay, Elm also rolled for stealth. Okay, so they have... Small... Yeah, because I'm still here. Yeah, 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 of course. They have small I just chance. had to take my headset off for a minute. Okay, from normal perception they do not, but... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say this now for uh, Elm because he has dark vision, so obviously he will see them first. Um, 
that from uh, like you know you go through a, uh, another like corridor there's some kind of you arrive in some kind of not medium-sized um, cavern 